Hello everyone and welcome back to Jenny Leclou Detective Who. My name is of course Constantine and we are still back in the graveyard with Jenny here. Uh, actually we opened up the grave. We are just about to go and see what the crap is hiding in this tunnel. So join me on this crazy adventure here and um, let's get to see together what the hell is happening here. Holy crap, it's another one of those freaking spheres. What the heck? If the huge cooling wires hadn't made it clear, the hulky metallic shell subtly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's the entrance to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here and for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere, a perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed. What else is Arthurton hiding? Hmm. Uh, another secret lab? Why would I hide it in the graveyard? How long has it been here? Hmm, so weird. Can we go inside? Yes, we actually can. Interesting. Um, I guess we can press this button here and activate it again as we did with the first one. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Hopefully we are not gonna raise the dead. <laughs> Hopefully that's not gonna happen here. Hmm, this one seems to be a little bit bigger than the other one, at least it has more computers on. Well, at least we know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines wired to life. Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. Exactly! I can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. Oh, another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between lab labs? It was a hunch, but if it were true, whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town? Uh, let's fix this up again. I think this is good. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good there. No, 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 go back. Alright. Oh, there we go. We got it. It's the same voice as before. Bear 38, Wolf 24, Sheep 40, Rabbit 60. This code was different from the last. Huh, that's true. Just a strange thought. Jane carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Oh, we gotta go back to the book, I get it. Uh, to search for... For the pages, I guess. Uh, let's zoom in. And uh, let's start looking for the words, I guess, right? I'm just gonna go... Just like this, I know that there might be a way to uh, to make this easier by looking at the bear and all the other words, just to know where to look. But um, I just don't feel like thinking right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this 
to find the result easily. Uh, let's see. Oop, we got one here. All right. Uh, wolf, sheep, wolf, 26, sheep, weasel, hawk, goose. Terror pass, rabbits. Survive, free now, turn about, get the materials, build a new house. Tasty. All right. Next up. The hawk and the weasel. High above the forest, a hawk. So we got, let's see, hawk 41. So it's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty. 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, maybe we missed a few, but uh, that's exactly what you gotta do, after you find the word, you just gotta count the numbers there, and that's where you're gonna find the, the word you need. So for example, now we have weasel, right? If we count 26 after this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, actually there it is, never mind. Apparently my theory was wrong, so I don't know how this works. Alright, let's go to the next page. Passing a sheep. Oh, we got death. We got infected. Uh, we got. Oh, we got soon. Come now, let us not retrieve last past. forever and we need one more word let's see here and the last word should be in the goose in the goose text so it should be somewhere around here oh herself we got it purge purge infected soon only death Forever, sil forever silenced, despair herself in ne is near. This message, as sinister as the last, sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced? Could that have something to do with, the, with Dean Strasbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death, despair herself is near. And now they're coming for mom? What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? That's um that's actually a really good question that I'm that I'm really curious to find out. We're clearly over our heads here. Um, let's examine this machine. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. Uh, like what? Oh no. We gotta put the ring in there. Wow, are you for real? So Dean was into it. Oh my god. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Oh. I think we need to open this up. Yeah. But there's no... 
screws. Oh, actually, there are screws. Never mind. Again, how the heck is she unscrewing these? <laughs> I mean, she's got her uh, spy kit, so I'm guessing that's what she's using. All right, we got it. Oh, this, uh, this again. Hmm. Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was to mess around with it until all the lights come on. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Well, we got. No, we got uh, pink and blue. Let's go with that. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Pink and blue. This one is orange. Blue, and we need to connect it to something else. Hmm. What about this one? Okay. Maybe that's gonna be better. So we got the blue one going to the one above. We got the red one. We need to somehow combine this. Ooh, there we go. We got one light on. Okay, I think this one is better. Oh, there we go. We got it. If being a great detective is, didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. <laughs> okay, let's turn this on. It's still not working. Maybe I'm missing something. Yep, you're missing the ring, actually. We gotta put the ring here. We gotta put Dean's ring. So let's just do it. A large metal slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. That shape, where have I seen it before? The Dean's Ring! Exactly, just put it in. Ah, uh, we gotta go, uh, we gotta do this Summon Says puzzle again, I guess. So I guess it was that one. This second? No. This. This. This? Nope. Uh, apparently it reset. Oh my god, seriously, come on. Alright. And there we go. We got it. It was easier this time. Alright, put it in. There we go. It fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot. As though it were made for it. It's definitely made for it. And it's on. Look at that. I'm not really sure what this is gonna do though, but um... Hmm... It's one of those crystals. Huh. What the... Is it working? Wow, it blew up. Seriously? What the crap? I could have lost an eye. <laughs> the machine's true application will remain a mystery for now. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strawberry is somehow connected to this place. Had Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring, whatever he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's for sure. He was definitely killed because of the ring, because he owned the ring, I guess. Um, let's grab this. Look on the cable. Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny LeClue was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Huh. Interesting. 
Holy crap, confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Uh, let's, uh, let's inspect this. Oh, there's a lot of pages missing though. Let's see here. Entry 1. At last, today we begin Project Excelsior, thanks to our wonderful benefactors. Standing inside my lab, it's exactly as I had hoped. Perfectly concealed, it's a real thing of beauty. I call it the Caesar Sphere. Caesar? Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is this invention? So this lab is his invention? He called it a Caesar Sphere? Well, at least I've got a name. Uh, buy new underwear. Laundromat reminder. Hmm. Let's keep going here. Nigel thinks it's pretentious to name it after myself. Well, let's see him design a geodesic structure that can withstand and such incredible external forces. Hmm. Whatever we call it, we finally be able to study and harness the power of the Arthur Town's greatest resource. Huh. The machines were built to study the and harness the power of Arthur Town's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself? What the crap? Possibility. Side note, Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he's doing it on purpose. It's Professor Zazir, like laser with a Z. How hard is that? Huh. Professor Zazir. Who are the Council of Three? Council of Three? Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this. Hope the money doesn't dry up. Huh. Alright, let's uh, keep going here. Apparently there are a few pages that are missing though. Entry 110. Another field fully operational. The project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine. Each result further, further supporting my theories. This town is special. That said, I find my time largely spent moving between laboratories. I'm tired of managing, want to get my hands dirty. Huh. Uh, let's keep going here, let's see. New lab idea, toying with designs for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. He designed a bigger sphere? Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? If my calculations are correct, it should be capable of up to 1200% output ca capacity. This could propel us to a whole new world of possibilities. Reminder. Ask Mr. Gray again for face to face with MGMT. Are they avoiding me? Starting to wonder if they even exist. Strange. Asked around, no one has met them. Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Terrible setback spotted an anomaly in the Badger experiment. In the Badger experiment too late. Huh. There was a Badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue showed up just in time to witness the explosion. Plasma everywhere, all units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Not looking forward to the, the briefing on Friday. This is going to set us back weeks. Days blurring together. Every experiment brings us closer to unlocking the seamlessly impossibly the seem seemingly impossible, but the number of strange incidents at the lab continues to grow. Who keeps stealing my pens? <laughs> uh, more setbacks, more unwelcome interruptions, exhaustion plus rushed schedule, dangerous conditions. Why did they insist we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. 
exhaustion, rush schedule, dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own, own working conditions were distressingly clear. That's uh, that's true, actually. Um, why did they insist we not we run the test with this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contain contaminations or accidents. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home again last night. Huh. Knowledge, ignorance, corruption, progress, self-destruction, order, who are they? Holy crap, this is so weird. Been sleeping in the lab, nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe that our personal sacrifices serve a greater purpose. Oh, uh, let's carry on here. All my fault? Too late. I was so naive. All dead. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of the past tragedy. Oh, let's uh, let's keep on reading there. Can't get their faces out of my mind. The screams, the darkness, the hole will never be filled. All dead. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. Holy crap. What did he do? It must have been terrible. Um, oh, this is the last page actually. Let's check it out. What a bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're finally getting stable, repeatable results. But the cost has been great. The output radio ratio is incredible. But we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. The new lab is nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push it too far, but full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends for what happened. Safety is top priority. People progress. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work for longer. As is the case in all Tangled Mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose, the purpose of this Zazar Sphere and the name of the people who had built it. The Council is of Free. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Holy crap. Oh, hold up. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Where have I seen the other blank scrap of paper? I don't remember. Huh. Nigel1028. Please stop writing the code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately. Zazir. So it's 1028. The crap? This is getting weirder and weirder, dude. Oh my god. Let's uh let's use the computer here. Please enter authorization code to begin. 1028, there we go. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Oh, we're gonna have to activate this again. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. Because when we last done this we've seen quite a lot of freaking big big rocks levitate so hopefully this is not gonna bring out the dead let's just do it this is gonna be freaky though let's go preparing to run experiment 12 cycle 78 sphere hermetically sealed magnetic transducer coils charging Accumulating vol voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 1291.
Whoa. Holy crap. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh my god. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. The compression, the compressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. <laughs> Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minutes break. All right, uh, we've done this puzzle here as well. That was um, that was quite in in interesting. I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go outside. I know exactly what happened there. We can now use the ladder in order to go up that freaking ladder. Not quite sure exactly what we're going to be able to find up there. But I am a little bit afraid, I guess. Oh, what's happening? Can we go outside? Oh, we got to go down here. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was stuck for some reason. That was so cool though, how the uh, how the freaking lightnings struck the angels. Let's leave the tunnel. Alright. Apparently the crack in the wall is still is still there. Nothing really happened. Actually I should say nothing really changed. So uh, let's just carry on to uh, to the stairs that we got to check out. Let's see here. Oh, Jenny, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery, but Susie might have might have vital information. Uh, lab equipment. Let's go with Zazir actually. Have you ever heard the name Zazir before? Professor Zazir? Yes! He was a famous scientist. There's even a statue of him in Avocado Park. That's where I've seen his name before. He worked for my family's company. But that was a long time ago. He led the research and development team. At least he did until... Until what? It's quite sad, actually. He went mad from mercury poisoning. He had to be institutionalized. They said he was a danger to himself and others. What do you know about him? Uh, trust Susie, don't trust Susie. No reason. I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. All right, let's uh, let's just go up here. Okay, so I was right. Look at that. We got the stair down now. We can go up here. And see what's happening up here. Uh, before we go on the right, I just want to see if there's anything hiding on this side. Yep, just as I thought. There we go. Alright, maybe a new photo piece? Yep, a new photo piece. Uh, how many do you have though? Let's see. Uh, 3 out of 10. Holy crap, we need a lot more. This is gonna take forever. I am a little bit sad because I am not sure if we're gonna be able to find the other 7 uh, for the up above picture, unfortunately. Anyway. Hopefully we can, but we might actually not be able to. Uh, inspect statue. Let's check this out. Beyond the Fallen Angel. Oh, this is it! The entrance must be through here. Holy crap, alright. So, uh, so that entrance that we were in previously, that was not the entrance to, uh, to the Fallen Angel. Another coded message in another hidden laboratory, a secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to Dean's murder? 
Well, you know what guys, um, all these questions, I believe we're gonna have to answer all of them in the next episode, because at the moment, we are gonna have to end it up right here, and when we come back in the next one, we will carry on with the adventure, see where this gate is gonna take us to, and hopefully we can reach Jenny's mother, and save her maybe? I don't know. Anyway, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching the video so far, I really hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave a like down below, as that would help me quite a lot. And also, let me know down in the comments what you think. Are we gonna be able to save Jenny Swam or not? I really hope we do. I mean, we had enough tragedies here. But um, who knows what we can expect from this game. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Alright, bye! Oh, crap. Well, that's not gonna be an easy task. <laughs> oh, come on! There's a million crosses in there. Oh great, there's a light over here. Uh, what the heck was that? What is that? It's coming from the open grave. 